Okie dokie. So today's video is a little bit different. Um, today we're going to be doing a build video and you can see things are massively sped up and that's basically just to keep you guys not super heckin bored. So uh, I'm going to say today's video's quality is going to be pretty dang cruddy. Um, the reason for that is because it's finals week here and uh, I'm in college and I'm a double major. So I have tons and tons of work to do this week. And I kind of stick to a rigid upload schedule of one video per week uh, where I post 9 a.m. every Friday. Um, but the thing is, this week I have just been swamped with work and not had the time to put into sort of recording and everything. So uh, I have done my best and therefore the quality is suffering a little bit. But what we're doing today is uh, we are basically making a gauntlet, uh, which is going to be themed around the show Black Lightning. Um, if anyone has not seen the show, uh, which I, I imagine most people probably haven't, um, it is a superhero show uh, in the world of like DC Comics. So same one as Superman and Batman and all that. Uh, that basically there is a character, his name is Black Lightning, or his superhero name is Black Lightning, and uh, he has electrokinesis, which is the ability to control electricity. So um, one of the things that he can do in the show is has he has like a electric punch and I thought that was pretty cool so I'm going to try to recreate that here. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I've taken a shin guard and like a kickboxing glove and I'm going to modify those uh, and put some things on them to make them uh, give me that ability. I am also for a little bit more spunk adding a uh, class 3B laser. Uh, this so this laser puts out about a hundred milliwatts uh, I just thought it'd be fun to give it sort of like a long range dealy as well, uh, because, you know, punching and all that stuff is all very close up. Um, so uh, I'm just adding that for a little bit more fun uh, in terms of sort of cool factor, I guess. I will say, uh, please do not try this at home if you are not experienced or just in general, don't, um, because this is pretty dangerous. Uh, the things that I'm using here. Uh, tasers are high voltage. They won't seriously harm you, but they are still very painful. And if you handle them incorrectly, then they could harm you. Um, in addition, class three B lasers are, uh, are dangerous to use and, uh, should not be used carelessly. If they, if the beam hits your eye, you will, uh, have permanent eye damage. So don't play around with lasers if you do not know what you're doing. Uh, like I said, it's finals weeks. I'm a robotics and mechanical engineering uh, major. Uh, I have worked with uh, lasers, high voltage, etc., cetera, uh, a lot before and know what I'm doing here. So just don't, don't play around with stuff. Um, so anyways, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating the mount for the laser. And basically I want a, a mount that I can remove the laser from so I can still use it as like a stargazing, star pointing laser. Um, but that will keep it solid if it's in it. So uh, what it is basically the laser has a catch and if it's rotated to its uh, downward position it can go in and out and if it's rotated up then it is locked in place. Uh, now I'm looking at how I'm going to mount the, the taser. The way it works is the two leads go to the nodes that are on the knuckles of the glove and there is also a switch that is uh, placed on the knuckles or in the knuckles so that whenever you hit something uh, that depresses the switch and uh, lets the taser know to go ahead and send a shock. Um, I'm not, I should preface, I'm not going to use this on anybody. This is just sort of a cool gadget to have uh, to mimic sort of like superhero powers. Kind of like the way Batman's stuff works uh, in a way. But basically, uh, that, that's how the, the taser is going to sort of be activated. The taser has a few different functions, uh, a few different modes. It's either full off, there's a safety switch on it, so if you turn that off, then uh, when you hit something, nothing will happen, other than you'll punch it. Um, if you switch it to halfway, then a flashlight will come on, so you can kind of illuminate stuff. And uh, then if you switch it to the third mode, then it is actively live, and if you hit something, it will uh, send a shock. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just sort of like marking things out, sort of taping where I want positions to be. This is kind of the idea. I turn it to full and then uh, I give it a little zappy zap. Uh, the nodes aren't quite close enough, so I have to move those a little. You can see a little zap there. Um, then I take the diode out of the housing for the laser because I need to solder on some new leads. Um, this basically I need an external uh, power button uh, because I need to be able to activate it from like my hand. I don't want to have to use my other hand to turn it on. 
Um, I spent a while soldering that, but because it was kind of not super uh, exciting, I didn't uh, I didn't keep that video around. Uh, here I am actually doing more of that soldering, and I am holding my phone with my mouse, so you get a great view of my lap there. And then uh, I tilt my head back way far, and I get a little bit of uh, the actual soldering. Uh, and then here I'm doing more soldering with a more reasonable angle because uh, the first one was dumb. Uh, and uh, doing some heat shrinking, just general electronic stuff, uh, just to extend these wires because when I move my hand down, they kind of stretch and pull, and that's pretty bad. Uh, I also have, since the, well, the previous clip, I have sort of cut in holes to the glove and put the nodes. Uh, actually internally partially in the glove uh, and here what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing that switch into the glove uh, because I don't want the switch to be super visible I don't want it to like I don't want to just like hot glue wires onto the glove so uh, I am I've sort of cut a hole in there and I'm putting it into this sleeve of the glove and uh, you'll see here in a second I do cut a little bit of a hole uh, and I'm trying to get that placement just right so that if you really did like kind of hit something that it would activate and I fell a hole, you can see the switch popping through there. And then I start looking at ways to mount the laser or the taser. Um, that one is a little tricky uh, just because it's a curved surface mounting to a flat surface. I could have just glued it on and all, but if I ever want to remove this taser and like sw swap it up, then I want to be able to do that. Uh, here I'm putting on a strap uh, to hold the the uh, bracer to my arm because uh, it kept falling off every time I was trying to test it and I figured I might as well do that. Uh, and then I add some uh, Velcro and stuff to the uh, to the strap around the wrist uh, so that it's solid. Um, then I start gluing on some other electronic dealios, uh, basically just getting like power switches and everything in place. Uh, uh, so after that, I am going to move on to uh, just like general fitting. So uh, I go ahead and put it on, try it out a little bit. Uh, and then I actually go back to the Velcro because I find out that Velcro doesn't work well with CA glue for some reason, who knows? Um, so I kind of give up on that and I'll figure it out here in a sec. Uh, I try to cut into the thing uh, to mount the taser. Don't like that. Try some command strips. Don't like that. And I eventually end up just going with wire. Um, Anyways, uh, I will say while I'm uh, while I'm getting this thing ready is uh, Deck of All Trades is the name of the channel uh, kind of for a reason, and I think that a lot of people are thinking that like my channel is just supposed to be an art channel. It's just where I like do cool art stuff, and while that's totally true, I do I do, do art stuff on here. Uh, I also want to do other things, and uh, I would love to hear comments and suggestions as to what I should do. There is the comment feature on YouTube, and you know I will read through every single comment anybody leaves me. Uh, and I would love if you guys kind of let me know what it is you like to see me make. I can make art. Uh, I can make more build videos with much higher production quality uh, instead of this. And uh, I can do uh, more Let's Plays um, if, you, if people like that. Um, there's all sorts of things that I could do. Basically anything that's along a creative route, I'd love to do. Um, I've I've even done uh, like like if you want, I could do like more physical forms of art. I could do sculpting. Uh, if you send me in commissions, I will uh, do those commissions on channel. You can see me uh, go through my sort of artistic process when creating something that you send me. Um, anyways, so now that I'm mostly done, uh, I'm gonna do some little tests. So this is me testing out the laser. I currently have a leveler lens on it right now. That's why it's like a long line. Uh, usually it'd be a fine point, but I thought the leveler lens was kind of cool uh, for this particular gadget. So here I'm, uh, I'm showing uh, a couple of different modes. The laser has two modes. Uh, one is a sort of hold and press. So while you're holding the button, it's on. And another one is a double tap and then it stays on. Is, uh, so this is before I got the strap done. And basically, uh, it's in its live mode right now. I'm showing uh, sort of range of movement with it. There's the button for the laser off to the side next to my thumb. There's the button for the taser, uh, which is up on the knuckle. And 
this is just the whole fit after I've got all the straps and everything with my wonderful camera skills. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I fire, but the lens is a little off, and then I fire again. And uh, so that's the laser with the leveling lens. Uh, so it's just one big long line uh, of uh, of light. It's pretty cool. I could take the lens off, and it would be a pinpoint beam. Uh, and then I set it back up, and uh, here's the taser going off. So I have to turn it uh, full on. This is in its off mode, so if I press the button, nothing happens. If I turn it full on, which is the red light comes on, then you can see it starts to zap. Uh, and there I am give a thumbs up. So please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon for notifications. Uh, also share this with any of your friends that might like my channel. I'm always looking for new subscribers trying to reach a larger audience. Uh, also leave comments below for any suggestions or things that you like about the channel and I will read through them and uh, make sure to take them into account. Uh, as always, have a nice day.